Yeah, better is a dry morsel with a quiet with quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Yeah. Heavy. I'm with that. Oh my god, that is a heavy quote. You have to put systems in place in this world though to give yourself that sort of output. It's very hard to get tranquility. Well, you can't want to make 10 million dollars. Cuz 10 million dollars definitely doesn't from ours from being white shit doesn't come free. So you'd have to really rattle, you know, rattle the cages, put yourself in a really tough, slow, organic build, but you got to, like, pick your battles. You know, could you go out and do fucking Sam Hyde live? You'd fuck your whole life up and drive around? You sure you could. Could you start doing the wildest shit in the world to rattle well, that's, the cage? Well, that's why I avoid that stuff, you know? Yeah. It's because I, I've, I've, I'm a hardcore believer in that quote. Yeah. I think that's extremely true. Stay back and do, you can work at, not, you know, you work at your own pace. You're not fucking... But to, to be able to not take a day job and do that, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's Obviously, I always want more, but it's a slow build. And watching my wife work not like you and I work is a very weird thing. I try. I, try, I, try, I have to keep my everything organized. Yeah. Yeah. Big spreadsheets. And I'm just, I'm constantly aware, <clears throat> aware of the passage of time because I'm 37. And uh, 37 doesn't feel old, but if you're thinking about brain age and cultural relevance, it's mad old. Yeah. Um, so the way I see it, I have, um, I don't know <clears throat> in terms of the, the reason, the reason why cultural relevance is important is because it's money for the podcast. Mm. And if it's, if it's, if I drop out of, uh, <clears throat> relevance, then the podcast viewers go, uh, paywall viewers go down and then the money dries up, which is, that's why it's a problem. It's not that I care so much about being, um, famous or something. It's that I would like to continue. I need the funding to come in so that I can fund this video game thing that's like the whole that's like the grail project that's where i've in i view my my 40s my money making my productive years my like established guy who knows what he's doing years 40 to 50 make a video game take 10 years make it as good as possible um do it the wrong way people say you're supposed to do start small and do be iterative <clears throat> i'm going to start as big as possible and, make, and plan for it to take 10 years i don't care it's my own it's I like what i want to do with my fucking time yeah. but um <clears throat> Um, so my, the way that I work, I have, I have to be, um, uh, I just, I try to keep, uh, steadfastness and tranquility and, um, focus on, on the, the mission. And it actually, I have a very easy time, like even with the fight, which was super stressful, I can sort of containerize that stress and put it outside myself. So I don't really feel it like it's, it's wholly miserable to, be uh working out like that and sweating in the summer in a in a tr truck with no ac and a cloth interior but it doesn't it doesn't matter i'm fine with that but the one thing that i can't deal with and that i have to um escape at all costs and just ruins my life is being around people i don't like and that's like a that's a that's a massive that's a massive thing that, that either ruins my life or makes my life like heavenly is the type of people that I surround myself with. I'm very particular about that. Yeah. Cause there are some, there are some really, really awful motherfuckers that, um, just in general, just in life, you know how bad people are. And it's yeah. not even, and it's just like, uh, selling cars, especially there's, um, I just remember that the people that I sold cars with were like, they were just, uh, evil and shitty in like weird little ways that if you tried to, to relate them to somebody else, they wouldn't get, why it was bad or whatever but i sort of hyper i like i get so focused on other people's like pathologies and like fucking bad vibes like i mm. can't i can't be around someone with bad vibes yeah i have yeah. to hit the eject button right away and you've always been that way i've been yeah i mean even when there was less stakes yeah and as as my as i've just as i've gotten more established and you know have more i guess um ability to make money sort of insulating myself from problems it's been much easier to cut ties with people who are um losers well it's tough to relate to them because if someone's a, like a that uh, that too i cannot relate with people who are like well, oh yeah dude it was so hard to fit get that porsche gt3 here yeah. man finding a stick shift <laughs> god damn it and, um, oh, and then but you know dropping the nft was so difficult because when we we're minting and then the guy's like yeah yeah Pe i drink paint <laughs> <laughs> whatever the, I, I i can't be around people with a negative outlook mm. and that's um 
there's uh there's something specially bad about artists and creative people and people who are good at something technical they do two things the first thing is they they have this like um like man in the, the castle tower kind of outlook where they think that because they're doing something creative they're like better than other people that's just something i can't stand i can't i can't be around that and people who are people who are precious about their work it fucking kills me because you're you're the the artwork stuff it's like any other type of work you're trying mm. to you're trying to you're trying to uh use learn craftsmanship you're trying to if you have if you have a right head on trying to build something that is like a tribute to god basically it's like you're trying to you're trying to make something that um is like in line with a higher realm it's not that you're trying to make something that is holy or so amazing that it makes people think about god you're trying to the the kingdom of heaven or the just the kingdom of of right ideas like whatever the the sort of like the realm that exists above this realm you're you are trying to make something that mirrors that or something that elevates our realm into a higher state of existence you're not so that's so you're not trying to that's why um like a lot of modern modern art it's it's really funny to me because i used to i guess when i was a teenager i used to think um i used to agree with i used to understand modern art like i used to be like what's so good about beauty like a painting like a fucking old painting what's the point of having it's just beautiful What's the point of it? It doesn't make you think. Like modern art, you're supposed to have like a concept. I remember getting bad grades sometimes because I didn't write essays to go along with my art. And uh -huh. in, in a modern, in a school that teaches this type of stuff, you have the, the essay that goes along with it's much more important than the actual piece. Uh -huh. Like you could draw some fucking garbage and uh -huh. have to make, and if the, but if, you're, if your essay was strong, you would get a good grade. I remember a lot, I had, a, me and Brian had a lot of trouble with this and Brian would make these things that were like, obviously beautiful and should exist but he wouldn't be able to write he's good he's good at it now i'm sure no yeah but he i remember but you back when he was, he used 18, to write his yeah. yeah when he was 18 i would write his things for him yeah because he didn't know how to he didn't know how to do it and yeah he, he would get in trouble or get you know pressured from the teachers or whatever but he would be the stuff he'd lie be, more the stuff he'd be making would be much far better than anything else anybody in the class made <clears throat> but his explanation of it was his explanation so was, yeah it was, it was like you know imagine, and you were a better writer imagine 18 year old brian trying to talk about why beauty is like beauty is important yeah it's like pussy <laughs> it's like, touch my body <laughs> Kiss me stupid. Sneaky pussy getter. Kiss me stupid. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come on. Kiss me. Stupid girl. Fucking idiot. It's turning dark immediately. Yeah. Fucking get away from me, you fucking cunt. I love Brian. He's the fucking best. Um, fucking, she's a moron. How can I can't talk to her? I'm gonna kiss her. Anyway, the, re the reason why beauty is important is because, like, the um the world is this state of uh disarray and iniquity and whatever not that that's all it is but it is it is uh satan is the king of the earthly earthly realm and you don't have to be religious to believe in all this stuff it is it's clear that like evil triumphs on earth because currently no in ge in general and not in and in, it's not in every aspect it's not like in your relationship with your child or whatever but in general like the material world is um uh one that is uh you know it gives into the sins it's 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 uh, not it's not the it's not the ideal state of things okay for and we know we know you know you know this for, for various reasons that's that's what it is so there's there is an ideal there is an ideal state to things and um that's why art that is beautiful just for beauty's sake that's why it's good is because it um it it is something from this like higher state of order where th where the where things are the way that they should be or it reaches for it it reaches for it in a way that's like um through the technique and the medium through the through the through the through the technique and through what it just what it is like the image like how beautiful it is it reaches for this higher state and it reminds the viewer to reach for it as well it's the same it's the same thing as living in it and i think i think that architecture is the highest um form mm. i think that i think that um i think that different art forms do they have um 
based on their complexity and just what they what they do, they have um, different degrees of relevance to this idea of reaching for the divine. I think architecture is the highest form because um, just because it's so uh, it's such an obvious metaphor. You're you, you're standing in the room. You're in the space. You are mm. in. You are in the divine. It's like walking space. in a painting, or being able to yes. slide in a painting, if or could, dance in a painting. If you could do that, that's what you're doing. Yeah. You're doing that in architecture. Yeah, architecture. It's and it's difficult. It's multi component. It's, and it's, it's it is it's the hardest one. It's it's got a lot of dimensions. You, you don't have to bend your painting around a stair you ha- rail. You ha- you, uh, yes. You, yeah. You you have to. Um, you're doing this. The cons- the constraint in architecture is physical reality. Mm. It's it's gravity, it's um, labor, material forces, it's money, it's labor, it's all these things. Yeah. A painting is just uh, paintings are paintings are fantastic, but it's just it's not the same thing. Vetting component uh, component abilities. Yeah. So like, what if the, what if one guy sucks? Mm-hmm. What if the stair guy doesn't get what you're talking about? Like you uh, listen, man, I want I want like exposed aggregate stairs. It's just far more complex and difficult. It's a lot, and that um, things things that are complex and difficult. It's not that complexity and difficulty on their own yield a higher result, but they're necessary. You can't you can't have something that's truly ascendant. And it's not that paintings aren't difficult. Of course, paintings are different. But to, if you if you're trying to go for something that's um, ascendant and divine, it's going to be fucking difficult. Like obviously, mm. how how could it be any? Because if it wasn't, then everybody would have it uh, anyway. So time time wise, um, I just try to be. As organized as possible. The um, oh, I was saying organization. That, uh, you think is your? Do you think that's like your, like if if you like real talk, like me, you know, or like I don't know you, but that's I my like, weakness. I need to know you. That's like I'm like uh, the, the world's over. I'm general. I'm I'm a uh, major pain, and I'm like Corporal Hyde. What's your number one strength? This is a war- life or death matter. What's your no- like? What do you think it would be? Like it's not funny? organization. There's a there's a bunch of there's a lot yeah. of things that I've learned that are um. Like counter, it's not that they're counterintuitive. Can, counterintuitive, it's that it's that um, fully knowing these things is is at odds with my own instinct and and suspicion that I th- that I think I'm right about certain things. It's like like if you learn something that uh, all of a sudden you you knew that you are a bad driver, like something that, something that you're really good at that's core to your identity, like. Driving's pretty. You you you're yeah. a good driver, yeah, right. and it's important to you that you are right. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. That's, that's I'm just saying that's because that's what it is for me. Yeah. Like I wouldn't I I wouldn't be able to swallow that piece of information if someone if 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 someone told me with factual certainty and I believed them that I was a bad driver. Yeah. I'd be like, what? I can't I can't do. No way. I have a racing sim. I, I have. I'm the guy. I'm the dr- I'm the Porsche owner. Like I wouldn't be. Able to- <laughs> I'm clearly a great driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Idiot. So I've, there are things. There are things about um, creation, artwork, the process of doing the, of doing this stuff that I've learned that are like that. I was talking about the people I don't like working with. One is one is where they think that their work is so just awesome, and that's a feminine. That's a feminine trait. The the, the feminine. Mm. Is like you you're valued for your innate beauty. That's how you talk to them when they're twenty. Oh, you're so be- you're so amazing. Mm. You're so beautiful. With a with a boy, you talk to a you talk to a boy like that till he's up till he's like five years old, and then after that, you start putting expectations on him, and the world starts putting expectations on him. And even in even in school, if you're like a fifteen year old guy, you're like a maggot. Mm. You know what I mean? Like even like, and even if you were a like football stud or something in your high school. You talk to older kids, you're still like a oh, fucking get this little kid out of get this kid out of here, scrub. Get out of here, scrub. You want to be a big football player, throw the ball a million yards. Yeah. So so men, they they as they mature, they they they're val what they're valued for is what they're able to do, like their agency, their power, etc. Wanting to be valued for who you are innately, like I want unconditional love from Joey. Like I want Joey to think that no matter what I do, I ain't loving you until you do best. something to make me love you. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, what a real G would say to you if you said that. Yeah. So the the people pe- people who are creative, they have this tendency to like because I made it, it's the best thing ever. And if you don't, if you reject it, mm. you're rejecting me.